Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going over the new champion, Soraka. So Soraka is a healing champion. She's a 3 mana 1-6 that says support, heal me and my ally for 4, and I've leveled up once you've healed damaged allies 4 plus times. And her leveled up form says support, fully heal my me and my ally instead of just heal for 4. And the first time you heal a damaged ally each round, draw 1. So Soraka herself feels like a pretty good card. She's basically Braum, um, with better stats that cost one less, but she doesn't have Challenger, and she also has a pseudo heal, or regen, I mean, uh, where she can't heal at the end of the round, so she can't block, but she heals when she attacks. Um, that's pretty strong. Um, it's not as strong as regen for sure. It heals twice, or half as much, I mean. But overall, the fact that she can level up pretty easily, and then she starts drawing you cards for the deck is going to be very powerful. The heal deck is very the heal deck is very good at stalling out the game. It's a lot like Priest from Hearthstone, uh, except it's more unit based than Hearthstone is. Um, Legends just uh, in particular just happens to be a more unit based game. The idea is you're going to block with units, heal them up, get the most value out of your heals because Sorak is now drawing you uh, cards. And if you have cards like Guided Touch and things like that, you're going to be he or drawing two cards you for heal, and it's just it's just a lot of value. Um, and it's for a three mana champion that can level up pretty quickly. It seems pretty powerful as a card draw engine. Overall, she doesn't really have a finisher, and that's where the spring from our last uh, reveals comes in. The spring will win you the game, and so you're probably going to be playing a spring combo deck where you're using Soraka to level it up pretty quickly and drawing extra cards um, to stall out the game until you get that combo win, which seems like exactly what the deck wants to do, and it feels pretty powerful. Um... It looks like a very well-constructed deck already, and um, although Soraka uh, doesn't really have a lot, a huge impact, not nearly as big of an impact as Braum because it doesn't have Challenger and its attack stat is um, low already, um, with all the Targon cards I can give it extra power, um, and even just the good support cards from regions like Bilgewater and Redlord that we've already seen, I, I feel like it's going to be very hard for this deck to be bad. It feels very strong. Um, her champion spell is fully heal uh, all damaged allies and uh, it's three mana. So this, uh, I assume this is going to be a normal card. It's just going to be wish, or so it's probably still going to be. So the normal card will be wish. This is Soraka's wish because it's her champion spell. So you're probably not main decking this. It feels like, um, oh, what's that one card called? I don't remember. But it just it just heals uh, all damaged allies, right? Uh, with Soraka, that probably would level her up, which would be pretty good, but even that, the 3 mana slow speed to level her up seems, like, redundant, when she can already heal two allies herself and another one, which is already half of her level up trigger, and all you need to do is play, like, a Guiding Touch in combination, uh, with one other heal, and you've already got the level up, so I don't really feel like Soraka's Witch is going to be necessary, and if it's not necessary, then the deck probably doesn't feel like running it. Now, it could get you a very interesting win with, uh, the Spring, which, uh, especially because Soraka is a card draw engine, you're probably going to be drawing double of her. So I'm not saying it's a bad card. It's probably just not very good in the main deck. Although I can definitely see an argument for it because of how uh, the spring works. How you're going to want to heal a ton. The next card is Astral Protection. A 4 mana of burst speed. Heal an ally and grant it plus 4 health. So with this card, you're going to be healing something for 4, healing it, and then giving it extra health. So it's basically a heal 6. Because you're never really going to heal four, well, the, for the full four, unless in very specific situations. Maybe Soraka or even Tom Kench needs to heal uh, five because it's at one or something. And you can do this and heal eight. Four mana to heal eight is actually very strong. Especially when the extra four doesn't need the... Gives it additional health instead of healing what it already has. Uh, you can definitely see this being very powerful in a Tom Kench deck. It feels very strong in that deck. Being able to keep Tom Kench alive and just completely destroying your opponents it feels like a very easy way to win that way so tom kench targon especially if you're going to play soraka in that deck too feels very powerful as a stall control deck i definitely like that idea a lot and this deck this card just makes it much better now this card with soraka seems pretty bad soraka is already healing herself she already has a big uh health stat and she doesn't really need it to be any bigger she needs more attack so a card like mentor the stones or just gems in general seems going to be we're going to be playing in a Soraka deck, um, but if you're playing Soraka and Tom Kench, I see maybe one Astral Protection being a pretty good slot anyway. 
And the last card we have is Stargazer, a 4 mana 3 4. Whenever you heal a damaged ally, give it elusive. So this is another finisher besides the spring. Uh, that's sort of an alternate win con. So you attack with Soraka, and then when Soraka heals uh, the thing and herself, she gives both elusive. So you're playing like a mentor or something and just give Soraka extra power. You can get sort of that win with Stargazer. So Stargazer is sort of like what Overwhelm is for the Lee Sin deck. Although for this, it's going to be much slower. It's less of a combo win. And the spring just feels m much less clunky because you're not required to have a board. Um, although technically you are, but you're, you're, you're less required to have a large board. You're less required to have attack stats. And especially in a healing deck, we're going to be playing cards like uh, Broadbacked Protector with low attack and high health stats. I don't really feel Stargazer is the correct finisher. The elusive is not going to matter enough because you're not dealing enough damage but to heal you're going to be healing a lot and so the spring it can just win you the game that way so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed soraka seems pretty great for a stall card i mean just healing 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 drawing cards and it just seems like a very good deck i hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to check out my next video and with that guys i'll see you in the next one bye